Hey guys, so welcome to Shoji Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import real world terrain into Unity 3D 2018. So let's get started. So I'm going to use this TNM download application, uh, which is the uh, the URL I will provide in the description is viewer dot national map dot gov slash basic. All right, this is the URL. You go there, you see this map. So the first thing you want to choose is elevation products, all right? 3D EP. Click on that, and this will get expanded. Um, there are many subcategories. Um, one meter DEM has the highest resolution, and also it captures the smallest, very small area. Uh, so it gives you high uh, resolution. You can use multiple of them and put them together. You click on the check mark. 1 by 3 arc second DEM and click on show availability right it will highlight the area that available for you to capture so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom in to that area like this amount right and then I'm going to click on find products all right so it's going to look for the products so after that what you do click on um, show thumbnails all right there you go so now you zoom out and see it created like a couple of thumbnails, right? Uh, I can use this also. I can select another part of the area and do the same thing. I can go to return to search and click on find products again. I'm going to repeat the same thing. Show thumbnails is going to uh, give me the thumbnails for more areas. There you go. There you go. Right there, right? See, it's and for North 40 West 120. All right. This is the one, right? See, and 40 West. 120 so what are you going to do oh there's one more thing you have to do so if you go back to return to make sure i i recommend to use image right so click on uh, img check mark, uh, file format as img you can also use our grid but i use image so i'm going to do that again go to find products and then and 40 120 so what i'm going to do i'm going to download this it's a big files by the way and i'm going to find this one and 39 120 and 39 120 this is the one okay so i'm going to download this one as well so i'm downloading two thumbnails um, these are going to so i'm going to create height maps out of them so i have downloaded these two zip files these are compressed these are pretty big uh let me see these are about a um, little more than 300 megabytes so i have this two downloaded there's another application that you need um is this so if you go to i will provide the url in the description if you go to github.com uh, marco polo slash real hyphen terrain so it will take you to this page uh, you're going to go ahead and click on clone or download and then you're going to click on download zip right it will download the application and it's going to go probably in your downloads folder or wherever you keep the keep them uh, so you can just right click and unzip it All right, so unzip to here, right? All right, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna do is you're gonna unzip the um, uh, the image compressed file as well. So I'm gonna extract them one by one. There you go. So I have them. So I'm going to. Um, copy this the disk image file 444 um, and go to uh, real terrain master go to input folder and paste it here i'm going to do the same thing for the other ones this one copy this disk image file format and go to um, input paste it here so i have the n3939 waste 120 not 40 west 120 both of them right go ahead open your uh, cmd command line prompt you can use also you can use git bash or whatever you want to do so i'm going to do cd go here and it's going to take me there right so real terrain master and then i'm going to go find the instruction so for that you need to have the python install right python something you can just google and install so you can go to um, download python 
and download the one make sure you can access it via your uh, command prompt or terminal all right if i do python and i have access to the command line right all right so let's go back to github um and we're going to use this comment so this is the comment what i'm going to do is so pretty much this is what you have to use right so we're going to do python real terrain that py and then the 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 file name the file name you can get uh one of them if you go to the input for input folder of your real terrain uh, I'm going to use the, the first one, just press F2 and then copy the file name, and right click and paste it. And then if you press enter, um, what happened? Oh, okay, yeah, my, my fault. So you have to also include the extension img.img. So it's python real terrain.py, which is the Python script, and then the name of the image file. Press enter. Um, it's not going to take too long, so it's going to pretty much convert it so other one is i'm going to take the file name copy the file name and then once it's ready all right so i'm going to press up and it's going to come up and just change this to 29 right it's the, everything stays the same and then press enter there you go all right so once it's done you can go back to your real train master uh folder and you'll see the output folder okay you have the input and you have the output the output is what uh spits out the um the process height map so you have this is the file and this is the file we need to convert this into raw files so i'm using 2018 version of unity 3d um just to note that there there are a couple of differences uh, between 2018 to the 17 of the train features um so what i'm going to do i'm going to use gimp to open the image file that i created so this is one of them. Let's open that. And we're also going to open the other one. These are big files, so we have to scale it down for Unity. Unity um, doesn't. Uh, this is like uh, ten thousand eight hundred by ten ten thousand eight hundred twelve by ten thousand eight hundred twelve. I think Unity supports like four thousand only. Um, so I'm going to scale it down to thousand. So what, I'm, what you want to do, you're going to go to image uh, and go to um, scale image. You're going to scale it down to 2000. Um, and we're going to do that in both of them. All right, now we're going to um, export as, export it uh, to row file which is portable actually to data raw image data so it's going to have the data extension right and i'm going to run an image to image one um, actually height map one height map one right and save it where you can find it later and also this is very important make sure the uh, rgb save type is planner Planner um, this option and export it. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Export it as uh, this is going to be two. Uh, to my download folder, add this. So this is going to export as 8 bit. Uh, previously, by original, we have 16 bit. So in here, um, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, I have a um, blank. Unity project open in 2018. So I'm going to go ahead and edit terrain. Edit terrain here. Uh, and then uh, on the right side, you have these uh, icons, right? Click on these icons, which is terrain settings. Scroll down and find this input row under te uh, te texture resolution. Uh, input row. Oh, okay, before that, we have to do something. Um, what is happening? so locate the saved files the data file side we're going to change the extension to from data to row okay there you go so both of them have to be row file 
and import I'm gonna just keep thousand and uh, I'm gonna do 50 actually let's do 40 and do thousand here uh, let's do 50 actually let's see how it looks yeah it's pretty space not that good uh, this is something you have to play around with I guess um, let me try again uh, yes thousand maybe 80 okay. so if I go to create na uh, neighbor terrain I click here click on this and then go to settings input row to the second one a thousand eighty thousand import there since it's 8 bit right so you have those uh, patterns here uh, if it was 16 bit it would have been a lot better uh, but this requires a lot of uh, touching I mean you have to uh, smooth things up better but I guess uh, yeah so this is how you do it so um, if you found it useful give it a like um, until next time goodbye